Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Ogumi, and today we are back with another statue tutorial on the second channel in continuation of the FNAF World series that you guys seem to love. We are doing Spring Bonnie. So, this kind of reminds me of this character of a crossover between Springtrap and also Fredbear. It's the same colouring as Fredbear. Um, so, it's going to be pretty easy. If you've done a Bonnie tutorial in the past, you'll be able to do it pretty, pretty simply. Um, and, yeah, it's an alright design. I designed it myself. So, if you do enjoy it or do see anything that is kind of like constructive criticism of it, then let me know down in the comments below. It's a pretty easy design to do. There's not too much detail to it because the character itself isn't too detailed. Um, but with that said, if you do enjoy, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Also consider leaving a rating, um, thumbs up, thumbs down, I don't mind, whatever you like. And also if you haven't already, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. As I said, I do twice, uh, two weekly videos on here, should I say, and then also two on my main channel. So yeah, with that said and done, hopefully you enjoy, and I'll see you in the tutorial. Okay guys, so the blocks you need to build the statue are the following. You'll need yellow wool, yellow stained clay, black wool, grey wool. Magenta wool, block of gold, block of quartz, green stained clay, and also lime stained clay. Now, a map does help, it's not a necessity, uh, but it does make life a bit easier, so that's always good to have. If you want to pause here, grab them blocks into your inventory, that'll be great, and then we can head straight into building. So, we're going to start off by building the legs. So, the legs are 12 tall, 8 wide. So, we're going to start by doing the first layer of 8 blocks, and then we're going to build 11 layers on top. So, the first layer is one yellow stained clay, one yellow wool, another yellow stained clay, two yellow wool, yellow stained clay, yellow wool, yellow stained clay. So, it's a bit of a pattern, as you can see, clay, wool, clay, wool, wool, clay, wool, clay. So, it's like a mirrored um, pattern. The second layer is the exact same, so that's clay, wool, clay, wool, wool, clay, wool, clay. As you can see, it's 8 wide and 2 tall right now. The next 6 layers is simply just yellow wool. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Right now, again, it should be an 8 by 8 square. The ninth layer is 3 yellow wool, 2 black wool. 3 yellow wool. The 10th layer is 2 yellow, 1 black, 2 yellow, 1 black, 2 yellow. The 11th layer is 2 black, 4 yellow, 2 black. And the 12th and final row for now is 1 yellow, 6, uh, 1 black, sorry, 6 yellow, and 1 black. So, once you've done that, it will look something like this. Again, apologies for mixing up the colours. I always seem to do that for some reason. Uh, I build one colour and then I say a different colour. But as you can see, it is one black, not one yellow, and then six yellow, one black. So, as you can see, again, that's a 12 by 8 rectangle. I'll show you now why the map is useful. So, if you grab your map, if you're on PC, press F3. You'll see the Y coordinate here. For example, mine is Y5. You can fly up here and mine should be Y17, right about there, yeah you go. Um, and that proves that it's 12 tall. So that means that you don't have to count, you don't have to come over and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, you don't have to do that. You can literally just use your map and it will tell you and make your life a tad easier. And that's always good. I don't know why you wouldn't want to. Um, and yeah, that's why I use the map. It's a good tip. Um, so yeah, with that said, that is the leg complete or the front of the legs complete. If you want to pause, you are more than welcome to do so. We're now going to move on to the upper body. So, for the upper body, what we're going to do is place one yellow wall on each of the black walls, either side. And on the left side, we're going to go one to left using wall, one clay, two wall. And then on the right side, we're going to go one wall, one clay, two wall. So, essentially, it will extend out four blocks either side, and that's to mark out where the hands start. And we'll get back to that later on in the video. Um... But for now, we're going to focus on the body. So for the body, what we're going to do in the middle here, we're going to place six yellow wool. Then the next layer, starting from here, so we leave a four block gap, is two yellow, or should I say two wool, four clay, two wool. Now what we're going to do is from this clay here, we're going to go up diagonal, left and right, and we're going to go up seven. So one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. On this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're then going to go up diagonal on either one, bringing it inwards, if I can place it, that is, and then place two blocks in the middle, and it will link together perfectly like so, and that will give you a oval shape, um, which in total is 10 tall and 6 wide, but it's missing one block in each corner, so it's technically an 8 by 4 Once you've done that, you can then go ahead and fill this all in using your yellow stained clay, and that will give you a nice solid surface. And then once we've done that, we can go about filling in the uh, surrounding areas. But again, this is 8 tall, this side section here, 8 tall, and this part here is 4 wide. In total, it's 10 by 6. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get our yellow wall, and we're going to build up 10 from here. So that will bring you to roughly this height, and I can prove to you it should be Y29. There you go. That's 24 blocks off the floor level. So what we're then going to do is go over to the right side and build up 10 again. And then for this section, we're simply going to place one block either side and then place a row of six on top. And it will link up perfectly and give you something that looks like this. So, that is essentially the body complete. However, what we're going to do is add some 3D effects to make it look a lot more interesting and to make it look a lot more realistic to Spring Bonnie. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make the bow tie first. So, we're going to get our magenta wall. We're going to come to the top left corner where this one block is missing from the uh, clay. We're going to place one magenta. We're then going to go one, two, three, four, five over to the right side. And then on top of this, top left corner, we're going to place two. We'll leave a two block gap, place two. And then what we do is in the inner part, so this one here, we go down. This one here, we go down. There should be a two block gap in the middle. And it will make a shape like this. That's the bow tie. So, again, if you want to pause, that kind of gives you a good view of what it should be looking like. Um, that is the bow tie. It's essentially, again, two 2x2 two two squares connected by a two-block um, gap, and then one block coming down either side. Next, what we're going to do is add the buttons. So we come to this two-middle uh, gap in between the bow tie, and we're going to leave one block, two block, and we go to the third block down. We place a black wall on the left and one on the right. And then below that, we place one black wall and one grey wall. So essentially, it's a 2x2 two two square um, of black wall with the bottom right corner being grey. And then that's separated from the bow tie by another 2x2 two two squares worth of gap. So as you can see, if you put a 2x2 two two here, it would connect up to the bow tie. So that's what you want to leave. So what we're going to do now below this button is place another one. So we leave a one block gap underneath and then we're going to replicate it again, what we've just done. So we place one black wall, go one to the right. Down one using a grey and one to the left using black wool. And it will give you something that looks like this. Now it's starting to look a lot more detailed and a lot more complete. Um, and that is the front of the body um, complete or done. So again, that's a 12x4 from here. Or 12x8 should I say, sorry. From here to here is 12x8. And if you want to pause, you are more than welcome to do so. And again, as I mentioned earlier, floor levels mean that you don't have to count. 24 blocks off a of floor level should be where the top of the statue is right now. As you can see, mine is 5. Yours may be different. Mine's 29. That is 24. So again, as I said, yours may be different. If your floor level is 10, then the top of it should be 34. And uh, you can hopefully work out the difference. It shouldn't be too difficult. Um, but it's very dependent on what your floor level is, of course. So... As I said, that means that the body is now complete, so we're now going to move on to the arms. So, for the arms, what we're going to do is start off on the left arm, and we're going to come to this clay area here on the first row. So, we've already done the first row. Of course, the arms are 12 tall, 4 wide, the first row being 2 wool, 1 clay, 1 wool. I'm going to refer to the yellow as wool and clay now um, to save me having to say yellow a million times. Um, so what we're going to do, on top of this clay here, we're going to go up one to the left one, and then we're going to place one wall either side. On top of that, we're going to place four wall, and right now it should be three tall, four wide. The fourth layer is four black wall. On top of that, we're going to do three layers of four yellow wall. On top of that, a layer of black wall, and then four layers of yellow wall. So again, that's 12 by 4 in total, and that consists of three layers of yellow at the bottom, a layer of black, Three layers of yellow, layer of black, and then finally four layers. The other side is the exact same, so if you want to pause here and replicate that, you can. Of course, it's just mirrored with this part here. As this one's facing left, the right side's going to be facing right. 
So again, if you want to skip ahead, do what you want to do. Uh, feel free. You can skip forwards a bit and meet me in the next part. We're gonna when we're gonna move on to the sides of the uh, body. But for now, I'm gonna work on the right arm. So for all you guys who want me to uh, talk you through the right arm, what we're gonna do is on this clay here, we're gonna go up one to right one, and either side we're gonna place one yellow wall. On top of that, we're gonna place four yellow wool, and on top of that, four black wool. On top of this, we're gonna place three layers of yellow wool. On top of that, a layer of black wool, and then finally, four layers of yellow wool, and that will take you up to the top and the same height as the body, um, which of course is 24 blocks off the floor. So, that is what it should look like. I'm gonna get rid of my arm, chop it right off, and uh, we'll have a little look and have a little pause. So that is the statue um, so far or what it should look like so far. Of course, it's 24 by 16, eight wide if you're not including the arms. Again, the legs are 12 by eight, the body is 12 by eight, and each arm is 12 by four. Again, if you want to pause, I'm gonna go a bit closer up. So that's the legs, that's the body with all the 3D effects and both arms. So hopefully you've got something working like that. Again, do not go forwards in the tutorial if you haven't, um, because it will just mean you'll get more confused and it's not fun you'll probably have to end up destroying stuff and going back and watching it over. Um, and if you are having any issues, let me know down in the comments below and I'll try and reply as soon as possible and offer some more personalized support. Uh, but again, bear with me, I'm one person, so if I don't reply straight away, that would probably be why. Okay, so now on the intentions that you've got something looking like this, we're going to go around to the left side of the leg and we're going to start working on building up the sides and making this a 3D statue. So what we're going to do is next to this clay here, we're going to extend it backwards um, to the left three times using yellow wool. Now the sides of the legs are 12 by 4, 12 tall, 4 wide. However, we've already got this row here, so we're only going to be placing three blocks in each row. And once you complete that, it will become a 12 by 4. Uh, hopefully you understand that. It's pretty simple. So on top of this already existent row we've got here, we're going to place nine rows of three yellow. So essentially it will bring you up to the same height as the top row of the yellow and just below the row that has the black wall, which is right here, this row here. And then for the black wall, we're gonna place a row of three black wall, and for the 12th and final row, one black wall, and then two yellow wall in the middle. So again, that consists of 10 rows of yellow wall, and then two rows of black wall and yellow wall at the top. If you wanna pause, you know what to do. The other side is the exact same, but I'm gonna talk you guys through it nevertheless. So for the right side, of course, we're going to come around to here. Using our yellow wall next is clay, we're going to expand it backwards, one, two, three, and we're going to build nine rows on top. Now, as I said before, it will match up to the row just below the black wall perfectly, like so. On the black wall row, we're going to place three black wall, and then the final row is two yellow and one black wall on the end to cap it off nicely, and it gives you something that looks like this. So, with the intention now that you've got the side of the legs complete, that's looking really, really nice, we're going to move on and make progress with the arms. So, we're going to work on the side of the arms, but before we complete that, we have to build the bottom, of course, because that's kind of like the working platform, the template we're going to be using. Um, so, what we're going to do is get our yellow wall, we're going to come to the rear of the statue, and to the bottom of the hands where the yellow wall is, as well as the clay, and we're going to expand it backwards, one, two, three, all the way across. So, you simply just go one, two, three. One, two, three. If you come below, you'll notice it's a four by four square. If you've got something that looks like this, you are doing it correct. Come over to the other side, you're gonna do the exact same. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. If you come below, that's a four by four square, and that's the other one complete. So coming around to the left side of the arm now, you should be presented with something like this. It's a backwards L. That is perfect. We got the base plate of the hand, the bottom of the hand, we got the front side. And then we've now got the side, which is what we're working on. Of course, it is a 12 by 4. Same thing applies. We've got this row here, so we're only placing three blocks on each row. And we've already got the bottom row complete for here. Um, so we're only going to be placing 11 layers on top. So, with that said, let's begin. So the first three layers, including the bottom one, is yellow wool. So that's three layers of yellow wool. The fourth layer is black wool. The fifth, sixth, and seventh row is yellow. The 8th is black wool, and then the 9, 10, 11, and 12th row is yellow wool. So again, just to reiterate that, that's 3 rows of yellow, 1 layer of black, 3 layers of yellow, 1 layer of black, and 4 layers of yellow. It's simple, there's no detail, it's just stripes of different colours. The other arm is the exact same, so we're going to fly around to the right side now. We're going to do the first 3 layers of yellow wool, a layer of black wool, 3 layers of yellow wool, 
a layer of black wool. Whoops, my placement is awful. So a layer of black wool and then four layers of yellow wool. Okie dokie. So again, that's a 12 by 4 rectangle. Um, and it's consisting mainly of the three sections of yellow with the two stripes of black wool in the middle. And uh, yeah, that is the sides of the arms complete. Again, both being a 12 by 4 and it will look something like this. So again, before we move on, I'm going to get rid of my arm real quick. Uh, I want to make sure you guys are fully aware of what's going on and fully aware of what it should be looking like. So this is the left side of the leg, 12 by 4 and the left side of the arm, 12 by 4 Coming around to the right side, we got the right side of the leg, 12 by 4 and the right side of the arm, you guessed it, 12 by 4 Okie dokie, so we are making really nice progress and we're going to come around to the rear of the statue now and you're going to find a big empty space That's what we're going to work on now, we're going to work on filling this in and uh, it's pretty simple, so it shouldn't take too much time at all. So what we're going to do, normally I start at the bottom and work the way up. However, what we're going to do is go to the back of the legs and to this black wall here to the lower black wall. Um, and we're going to go one to the right. So this is on the left side, we go one to the right from here. We then go down diagonal twice towards the right side to right one and then up diagonal twice. And it will link up perfectly like so. Now the reason why I've done that is because that's kind of like the uh, outline of the legs, that's the pelvis area, that's the leg area. So what we're going to do is simply fill this all in underneath the line in with yellow wool. And then we'll go about talking about above the line in a second once I filled this in. So it's just a case of building it up. The two centre blocks in the middle should be eight tall um, of yellow. And then of course it works its way up, so it's nine, ten, and ten. And then on this side, eight, nine, ten, ten. Hopefully you get that. Um... And then above the line, we're going to place two yellow, four yellow, and six yellow. That will bring you up to the top of the leg area, the leg region, and that's a 12 by 8 rectangle. And uh, yeah, it's pretty easy and pretty simple to complete. So if you thought that couldn't get any easier, you were mistaken because it just did. What we're going to do for the back of the body, again, it's always quite plain because you can never really see the back of the characters in the game. Um, it's simply just a 12 by 8 of yellow wall. So what we're going to do is on top of this black wall here, we're going to build up 12. And easy way to make sure it's the right uh, size is to match it up with the front side just by building across and making a little platform. And it also saves you work later because it means you have to fill in less for the shoulders. Uh, as you can see there, do it on both sides. And then all the area in the middle, we can just go ahead and build up 12 all the way across. And that will give you a nice 12 by 8 rectangle of yellow wall. So again, the reason behind why there's no detail is purely because you can't see anything um, and adding detail is just adding it for the sake of adding it. What you can then go ahead and do is fill this whole area in here with yellow wool. If you're better at placing blocks than I am, you'll have a great time. If you're not, then I feel bad for you because I'm awful at placing blocks. What we're going to do now, as you can see, we've got this big old plain canvas to work with. We're going to add a tail. Now, I always say this, and this is always quite controversial. Um, but I always add it because there are a few people that like it. There's a few people that really dislike it No one really can confirm or deconfirm that spring bonnie has a tail and It's the same with most of the other characters like plush trap However, you would kind of presume they do now bonnie is of course a bunny um, Or a rabbit whatever you want to call it technically um, And they have tails they have those big um, white bushy tails However, because it's kind of like the colour scheme, we're going to be using yellow. Now, of course, if you don't want to add this, you don't want to add this. If you want to change colour, feel free. It's your choice. We're going to be using our yellow stained clay, so it contrasts from the actual back um, itself. And how we're going to do this is we're going to go to the row just above the black wall here. We're going to go one, two, three. And on the fifth and sixth block, uh, not the fifth and sixth, the fourth and fifth. And then we've got the sixth, seventh, eighth empty here. So fourth and fifth block, we're going to place two yellow stained clay. Above that, we're going to place four. Above that, four. And then above that, we leave one block, place two, and leave a block. So, that is what the tail will look like. Again, it just like adds a bit of detail to a very plain and empty space, um, which is always good, and that's why it works quite well. However, again, it's up to you if you don't want to add it. That's your choice. Feel free not to. So, what we're going to do now is the back of the arms. So, we're going to start on the left one here, and it's simply just a case of matching it up. So, if the block here is yellow, it's yellow. If it's here, it's black. So, simply the first three rows is yellow wool. The fourth row is black wool. Fifth, sixth, seventh is yellow. Eighth is black wool. 
and then the 9, 10, 11 and 12th layer is yellow wool. You can then go ahead and fill in the shoulders using yellow, of course, it's nice and plain and simple. And that's a 12 by 4 rectangle uh, consisting of three layers of yellow, a layer of black, three layers of yellow, layer of black and four layers of yellow. So, for this side what we're going to do is three layers of yellow, a layer of black wool, three layers of yellow, a layer of black wool, and then we've got four layers of yellow. It's the exact same, again very simple, fill in the shoulders using our yellow wool. And I'll zoom out a bit, you can see that gives you a whole solid shape and you can see it's very very plain. If you want to add some detail, you can if you want, um, but for the purpose of this tutorial and for the purpose of being relatively accurate as possible, um, I'm going to avoid adding unnecessary detail. So, with that said, that is the body complete, that's the statue in general um, complete minus the head. So what I'm going to do before we move on to the head is again give you your, I guess it's like an annual, no an annual would be a year wouldn't it? It would be your not so regular pit stop break pausey thingy um, where you have the opportunity to pause whenever you want. I'm not going to say every time, uh, just feel free to do it whenever. Um, that's the beauty of the pause button is you can do whenever you want to do it um, and I'll just give you some nice screenshots so you can do it. So this is the front of the legs, that's again a 12 by 8 We have the front of the body, which is a 12 by 8 and the front of each arm, which is 12 by 4 Coming around to the left side, we have the left side of the leg, which is a 12 by 4 The left side of the arm, which is, you guessed, a 12 by 4 Right side of the leg, 12 by 4 Right side of the arm, 12 by 4 Coming around to the rear side of the statue, we've got 12 by 8 for the legs 12 by 8 for the body and 12 by 4 for each arm plus that incredibly cute bunny tail. Of course for the shoulders it's simply 16 by 4, 16 wide, 4 thick um, and it's made out of pure yellow wool. The bow tie made out of magenta and the buttons here 2 by 2 made out of black wool and grey wool. So hopefully you're all up to pace, you're all good, ready to go for the head. Um, what we're going to do for now is go to the front side of the statue, get our yellow wall, and slowly but surely walk over to this left side. So once you're at the left side, what we're going to do is count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and on the 5th block we're going to place a yellow wall, bring it 2 forwards. We're going to head over to the right side now, and we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, on the 5th block we're going to place block, bring it 2 forwards. We're now going to link these together, so there should be a 6 block gap in the middle, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're going to do that twice, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That gives you an 8 by 2 overhang of yellow wool. Next what we're going to do is come around to the side of the head and we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And on this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then link them together like so, using our yellow wool. And that will give you an 8 by 8 square and uh, the template for the head. So, the template for the head, we got the front side, left side, right side, back side. We're going to work on the front side first. Again, it should be right now an 8x8 square, and we're going to come to the front side, the side with the bow tie, and start working on the face. So, for the face, the first layer is simply 8 yellow wool. The second layer is 1 quartz, 6, white, uh, six yellow wool, and 1 quartz. The next two layers is just simply 8 yellow wool, it will be covered up by a nose and mouth anyways. The next layer is 1 yellow, 1 quartz, 1 green, 2 yellow, 1 green, 1 quartz, 1 yellow. For this row you're going to need your limestone clay so I'm going to grab that onto my hotbar. The next row is the exact same but instead of green it's lime, so 1 yellow, 1 quartz, 1 lime. 2 yellow, 1 lime, 1 quartz, 1 yellow. The next row is 1 yellow, 2 black wool, 2 yellow, 2 black, 1 yellow. And the final row, the 8th row, is 8 yellow wool. So once you've done that, it will look something like this. It will look extremely weird, um, but that is an 8 by 8 square, and that's basically what it should be looking like right now. What we're going to go ahead now and do is add the nose and the mouth region and make it look a bit more like Spring Bonnie um, and make it look generally a bit more like a real life existing character. 
So the way we're going to do this is we're going to come over to the left side of the face, right above this quartz block here, and we're going to place one block of gold. We're then going to go seven over to the right, so that gives you an eight long line of gold, and that looks really weird now. On top of this, we're going to place three gold on the left side, two black wool, three gold, and that's like the nose now, and it kind of looks like a walrus, tooth on each t uh, side. What we're going to do now is get our block of quartz, and in the two middle blocks, so directly below the black wall, we're going to place two quartz underneath the gold, leave a block to the left, place one, and then on this side, leave a block, place one. And it will give you something that looks like this. So, that is the mouth complete, and also the front of the face complete. All we need to do now is move around to the other sides of the head and start working on that. So, if you want to pause, you are more than welcome to do so. A quick thing of why I use gold and not yellow for this is because I feel the gold has a bit more contrast when it comes to the face. I'll show you what it looks like with yellow, in fact, if you want to use yellow and stick to a consistent colour theme all throughout. Um, I don't think it contrasts as well. I think it looks a bit weird. Um, however, if you use gold throughout the whole build, it looks too bright and too contrasty. So it's just like getting a small balance and getting it right. I think having a bit of both works just as well. Um, but again, you're entitled to your opinion. And if you want to use yellow or you want to use gold throughout the whole build, then that's up to you. So anyways, with that said, we're now going to come around to the left side of the head. And simply all we're going to do is build up seven yellow and work our way around the head. So following the template we built earlier, we're just going to build up seven blocks. And that will give us three 8 by 8 squares. It's very, very simple. No detail. Again, that's generally how it is on the Five Nights at Freddy's statues because you don't really see much of the side of the head. There's not too much detail unless you're doing people like Springtrap, which I guess Spring Bonnie, I believe, is a variant of Springtrap um, in one way or another. So it's kind of similar, but Springtrap has a lot more detail and is crazy difficult. Talking of Springtrap, if you haven't seen my uh, tutorial I did a while back, using Lazar's design, then I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to check it out on the main channel. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty difficult design. If you think this is difficult, it's probably not the one for you. So, coming around to the left side now, you can see that's an 8x8. We've got the rear side, 8x8. The right side, 8x8. And we're going to go ahead and fill the top in using pure yellow wool. And that will give you another 8x8. Okay, so once you've done that, there's only one thing we need left to do, and that's add the ears. So what we're going to do is go to the front side and to the top of the head, and we're going to leave one block gap on the left and build one yellow. Next up, we're going to place one gold, one yellow, leave a two block gap, place one yellow, one gold, one yellow. Now we're going to do that twice more on top, so yellow, gold, yellow, yellow, gold, yellow. And we do this on both sides, so it's three high, three wide. It's a three by three square, essentially. Then what we're going to do is bring it diagonally forward. So we bring the yellows diagonally forwards, the uh, walls at least, like so. And then we do the same for the gold. So bring it diagonally forwards. We're going to replicate that on top, so another layer of what we just built. So yellow, gold, yellow, and then same for this here, yellow, gold, yellow. And for the final layer, the third layer of the second tier, we're simply just going to place three yellow wall. And that will give you something that looks like this. Now it's two tiers of a three by three squares um, of yellow and gold blocks. With the top one being slightly different in the way it caps off and doesn't have the open gold blocks at the top. One thing you could do if you really wanted to is make the ears too thick. Um, so simply just double it up like what I'm doing on screen now. And it will make it look a bit more like, um, not weighty but a bit more like uh 3d i guess it will give you a bit more of the um i'm trying to think of the better word yeah i guess 3d is probably the best word i can think of right now um it makes it look a bit more detailed not really detailed um but yeah a bit more meaty a bit more like real not so like paper thin kind of thing so again it's up to you do what you want to do with that i personally prefer the ears one thick um, but I've just made them two fake just to show you what it looks like. So with that said and done, that is the statue complete. You have got yourself your very own Spring Bonnie. Again, it's very similar to the Bonnie I did a while back, um, but that's pretty much all Spring Bonnie is, is a golden version of Bonnie. So anyways, this is the front of the head. I'm going to do a quick spin around before we end off the video. So this is the front of the face, which is 8x8 with the 3D effects of the mouth and the nose. We've got the left side of the head, which is 8x8. The rear side, which again is 8x8, 
and the right side, you guessed it, 8x8, the top, and then we've got these ears which are 6 tall and uh, 2 thick. So with that said and done, hopefully you did enjoy this statue tutorial. If you did, definitely consider leaving a like down below. Also, constructive criticism, praise, whatever you want to do, really appreciated. Please do leave a comment down below, not only asking what you want to see in the future, but what you thought of this tutorial in particular. It's always great to get some feedback. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, I do two videos a week on this channel, a Let's Play video of some sort, mini games, and then a tutorial on the Saturday, and also my main channel where I do two tutorials a week. And also now Frosted Network, a third channel I'm kind of a director on, where I'm going to be doing a tutorial for a famous YouTuber every Tuesday. So, so much content from me. If you do enjoy um, it, then you've got lots to watch, and hopefully you enjoy it just as much. With that said and done, I'm not going to waffle for any longer. Have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching. My name's been Tom Ogumi, and goodbye. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, because you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light shine through?